Do you guys have any plans? That is a question that I get asked almost three times a day every time that I work in my liquor store. So today we're going to talk about Blanton's, we're going to talk about the backstory, the history of it, we're going to taste it, and we're going to do a little review of it. So let's get into the video. So the first thing that we need to understand about Blanton's is the history of it. So Blanton's was started by somebody named Colonel B. Albert Blanton. And the story goes that he had this specific warehouse, and it was Warehouse Age. And for whatever reason, he thought that a select few of the barrels, a certain section of the warehouse, the barrels, all of the bourbons came out better. They were the cream of the crop. They were by far his favorite. So what he did was he would take those barrels, put them aside the for himself, and he would privately bottle each uh, barrel of Blanton's. And then when he would have people come over, he would give them out as gifts. So in order to have a bottle of Blanton's, you needed to be a special person of importance. So he would give out these bottles, and the only way that you would get them was if you were somebody that was important. And he would give them to his guests, and he would also like pour them for him when he had people over. So they took this idea and then continued it into today where all those, those select few barrels are all within the same little area and um, they privately bottle each one and that is the brand of Blanton's. It's just those select few barrels in warehouse age. Now the cool thing about Blanton's is that each label is also a um, customized label. Um, they do these all by themselves. So you can actually see on here it lists the warehouse right there. That's warehouse H and then you can see the barrel number as well. That's barrel number 202 and the bottle number, which is bottle number 54. And another thing they do, which is why everybody looks for Blanton's and why it is really popular, is because it's actually kind of a collector's item. Um, Blanton's is really good with their marketing, and I think that's part of the reason why it is sought out by so many people. Um, if you look right here, Let's see if I can get a shot. This is the bottle topper. Um, each bottle, they have a number of different bottle toppers and with all of them, each horse is in a different position. Um, so the horses are meant to simulate the start and the end of the race. So each one will be in a different um, form as it is running the race. And then if you can see right here, you can't see it very well in my camera, but that is actually an N. Um, each one of the different bottle toppers um, has a different letter of the word Blanton's in there. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to try and collect them all. Now, collecting them all is something that's extremely difficult because the bottles are hard to get, like I said. Um, people come into the store all the time asking for Blanton's and we get them in um, maybe every six months if we're lucky and we'll usually only have like a case or two of it and they'll go within two days of just people asking without any for anybody knowing that they're in the store so it is extremely hard to get as it is just those select few barrels that they um privately bottle in warehouse h um it is uh very good for like the price point that it is at though it's just like a mid-tier it's around like for my store, I mean, it's going to vary from state to state and with taxes and all that. But at my store, I think I got this bottle for around $60, um, which is a mid-tier bourbon. Now, before I recorded this video, I actually went on and I looked at like what other YouTubers and content creators were saying about Blanton's. And I got to say, a lot of it was not the best. A lot of people were complaining and not happy about it. And I think it was mostly due to the hype that is surrounding the bottle. Everybody talks about, everybody says, oh, Blanton's the best and like you need to get it. And I guess if you actually go to like the Blanton's itself, the company, you have to enter a raffle and do all this other kind of stuff to um, get entered in for a chance to get a bottle. Um, and then I also see when I went online and searched up Blanton's that people are reselling Blanton's for two or three hundred dollars um 
which is just absolutely outrageous. It is not a $200 to $300 bottle. Um, never pay that. It's not going to be worth it. If you pay two to $300 for the bottle, you are going to be disappointed with what you get. Um, I can tell you that almost off the bat, like without even tasting it right now. Um, it's a $60 bottle. It's a mid tierish bourbon and you are absolutely insane to be paying two to $300. Um, with all that being said, and us know now in the history and everything else behind Blanton's, um, let's get into this tasting. So right off the bat, this is a sweeter bourbon, but not so sharp. It's not a very sharp sweetness, um, just off of my nose. It is a very well, well-rounded sweetness, I will say. Just first impression, um, I think it's really good. I think most of the content that I saw posted on YouTube beforehand was just really... I don't know if people were paying the two to $300 in order to acquire this bottle and then doing the tasting and then were let down and angry about it. But just from my perspective right now, I think this is a really good bourbon, especially for a mid-tier bourbon. Granted, it is like super hard to get, so it's not like something that you can just regularly have like stocked in your bar, I would say for most people, um, unless you're super rich and can spend $300 to regularly stock it. Um, if you run into a bottle of this, like at a store, I think it's 100% like worth the buy. Um, with that being said, I would never ever spend, even I saw some bottles going for like 160, that is just way too much. Um, you can get three bourbons that are probably gonna be similar, not the same. I do think this is probably the best mid-tier bourbon that I have tasted. So I think that it is worth the hype, but it is not worth an insane amount of money. Um, if you're gonna be spending $300, there's much better bottles that you can get. Um, just to name one, like the Bushmills 21 year. Um, this isn't on the level of that, but it is very good. It's extremely good. And I will say also, I think that it's worth keeping in your bar. Um, I mean, I wanted to do this review, but I was also a little bit bummed that I had to take a sip of this out. Um, this is a bottle that I'm gonna be saving. Like I said, most of the hype with Blanton's really is the story that is surrounding it. Um, I think it's super cool that I have this just for that when I do have friends come over and we're drinking bourbon, I have this and they'll be able to try it now like with me. And I think it's more of an experience getting to have it and give it to someone as if they're important, just the way that Colonel Albert B. Blanton did. So that's gonna do it for my review. Once again, Blanton's, I highly recommend, highly approve. If you run into it into a store, absolutely get it. Um, do not go and spend absurd money trying to order it off the internet. Um, I hate the people that buy a bottle and then try and resell it to turn a profit. Um, this bottle, if you acquire it, just keep it in your bar and enjoy it. Um, so that's going to do us for our video today. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe for more booze reviews and more booze related content.